Back in the old days, the Ferry Building was the heart of San Francisco. It's where they brought the wounded after the great San Francisco earthquake of 1906. It's the hub that drew as many as 50,000 commuters daily across the bay on ferries before there were any big bridges here. It's the monument that a freeway blocked from the rest of the city in the 1950s. The Ferry Building isn't the heart of the city anymore. It's the tongue. Since 2003, the Ferry Building has re-emerged as a haven for the foodies of the Bay Area and beyond. About 40 retailers and restaurants peddle all things organic, artisanal, and expensive in a great space that used to be where commuters prowled. There's also a great farmer's market on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and sometimes in summer. They do it on Thursdays as well. This is Chris Reynolds from the LA Times. We're spending a day in the Ferry Building in San Francisco. The building, which first went up in 1898, is 660 feet long. If, if you like good food, this is the place to come for fresh good food. We have baby beet greens today, arugula, salad mix, about 10 different kinds of lettuce. Organic cottage cheese made by hand in small batches at our creamery in Point Reyes Station. Some of my favorite things here are the pistachio macaroons and also the buttermilk panna cotta. We have a, a squash over here, golden scallop, that dates to the Middle Ages originally. We got raw food collard wraps and raw food desserts, like a raw chocolate mousse and a raw raspberry cheesecake. Wow. We have really fresh goat cheese. I made it yesterday with the same day's milk. We have a fresh feta. Our top seller is the Fleur de Sel caramel. It's a chewy burnt caramel with sea salt, surrounded by bittersweet chocolate with white chocolate shavings. We make everything you can possibly make from the pig, uh, cured, cooked, and raw. On a busy Saturday, like the one I spent in late June, 25,000 people pass through this building.